Well, Governor, I heard the words more funding a couple of times in here. What, uh, what do you think you're doing in the budget or can do more uh, to address what they're doing? Well, these are very challenging times, as I said. And, um, so we must use the resources we have as carefully and as efficiently as we can. Uh, I'm pleased that the, uh, the House has made some changes in the originally introduced budget that I think will be helpful to some of the most needy citizens that we have in the state. But uh, the long-term strategies that are necessary to really significantly reduce poverty among our people um, are, are uh, strategies that, that will involve making choices, obviously, but they will also involve uh, incremental change over, over a period of time as uh, resources uh, become more available to us. Um, but there have been some, some good things uh, take place in recent months. I mentioned the Benefit Bank uh, as a, a huge and important tool for people who uh, are in need of resources and may not even know that they're entitled to them or may not know how to access them. I'm told that the Benefit Bank has uh, drawn down uh, perhaps over a hundred million dollars already um, helping thousands of individuals and families uh, just simply access resources that they are entitled to receive um, uh, if they simply uh, knew how to do that. And we believe that the, the potential for this tool is very great, that there may be well more than a billion dollars in untapped resources that uh, needy people uh, could have available to them if they simply knew how to uh, access them. And so that's why we've gone out across Ohio. We have provided training to, how many uh, How many people have been trained in it? Two, um, four thousand. So we've gone to churches and social service organizations and veterans halls and, and different places around our state. Uh, giving volunteers primarily um, the kind of training they need to be able to use the tools um, which the Benefit Bank provide to them. And so a person can come in and sit down in a relatively short period of time, talk to a trained counselor, give them information, and the software of the Benefit Bank can almost immediately uh, produce all of the various benefits that that person is entitled to receive. It may be the earned income tax credit, it may be a food stamp program, it may be access to child care. Um, so uh, we want to expand this and we want to make sure that there's not a community in Ohio that doesn't have uh, access to some of these trained volunteers who can help people with these uh, uh, efforts to, to just simply get benefits that they are entitled to receive. Yeah, but what about the argument that a lot of these benefits, while they help people, they don't really get people out of poverty in the long run. They don't get somebody a job. They simply give somebody some help getting food or that's a, uh, something that's a like one, that. That's a very uh, astute, accurate uh, observation. And so in order for people to actually be uh, lifted out of poverty, uh, it's, it's, it's going to take access to education and training and a living wage job and, and uh, unfortunately those efforts are being so negatively impacted now because of the fact that unemployment is going up and the economy is struggling um, but I continue to believe that that uh, education and job training um, it, it is the is the only long-term solution to, uh, uh, in any substantive way, changing the face of poverty in our state. Poverty, even though they have jobs, 
because the pay is so low. And what about the idea, which is not in this report, of upping the minimum wage a lot more than it's been up recently? Is that feasible, or does that just destroy jobs because business yeah. has to pay more? Well, I think there has to be a balance when we consider the level of the minimum wage. I, th I think I think the minimum wage should be as high as it can be uh, before it reaches that tipping point that you alluded to, where the minimum wage could actually result in in fewer jobs being available to people. And so um, we have had an increase in in the minimum wage in the not too distant past. I think that's something you know that we should continuously evaluate. Um, but I do think that that uh, the minimum wage should be increased as much as we can have it increase without it having a reverse effect, uh, you know, a negative effect on job creation. But um, uh, people are uh, finding themselves working hard and making less, and that's because so, so many of the higher paying jobs related to uh, the manufacturing sector of our economy, for example, uh, have uh, have diminished, and so then people find themselves having to take jobs that may pay half or even less than half of what they previous, previously made, uh, and that's that's why our economic development efforts, in my judgment, should not be directed toward creating more uh, minimum wage jobs. Uh, I mean, I think if we have if we have incentives that we uh, can make available for job creation, we ought to make sure that those incentives are used to uh, encourage job creation that does, in fact, provide living wage jobs for people. Talk a little bit more about the budget and how it's progressing as uh, changes that the House made. You've made some fairly significant changes last few days. Anything yeah. that jump out at you one way or another that you like or dislike at this point in time? Uh, I think the House has done good work, um, and you know we've been in rather close consultation with uh, with the House and the leaders of the House and the members of the Finance Committee as different changes have been discussed. Uh, and so I think they've done some good good work, and I support uh, what the House has done. I look forward to uh, to the House completing its work, um, voting it out hopefully uh, this week, and uh, the process moving forward as the Senate then gets uh, gets engaged and eventually uh, moving to conference. Uh, but uh, I think the House has done some good work. And they, have uh, congratulated the Speaker and Munition uh, and others uh, on the hard work they've done. Uh, they've done terrific work on the education piece of the budget, uh, and, and, uh, and now they have uh, made some other adjustments that I think are going to be very helpful and well received. Do you have any concerns that um, they're as you and you're telling your administration 